everybody, it's Zach from New Graphics here, and uh, welcome to our preview of our sparkler overlays for Photoshop. And, uh, I'm going to be doing a quick run through of uh, how to use them and uh, just show you a couple examples. So let's get started. Now, when you first download the sparklers, you're going to have uh, the sparkle overlays, you're going to have three folders inside. You're going to have an etc. folder, a letters folder, and a numbers folder. Obviously, the letters and numbers are self explanatory. We have uh, capital letters and the lowercase letters. And we also have uh, numbers as well as other symbols, uh, division sign, copyright sign, hashtag, stuff like that. And then we have the etc. folder, which has uh, plenty of just unique kind of things, different things. And we do also have an instruction PDF. Um, for reference later. So let's go back to the etc. folder and drop in one of these images or one of these overlays. Let's do, let's do this one. Now you'll see when you drop it in there's a black background. Uh, this is done for quality purposes so uh, the, the way to get rid of this is to change the blending mode. So go over here to the right hand side of your screen where it says normal. You want to click this and switch it to either screen or lighten. Depends on the overlay. But these are the two you want to use uh, specifically for sparkle overlays. Now, you can resize the overlay to the size you would like. Um, if you want it a little bit smaller, just hold shift and drag uh, the, from the corner. If you want it bigger, you can do that. Um, you can also for example, this image I'm going to duplicate, and I can add more of these just randomly around the image, give it a bit more, a bit more of a cool effect. Now, you can also combine other overlays for even cooler effects. So, let's see. Let's find a cool overlay here. How about this one? So this one is kind of like an effect of a sparkler being twirled around somebody. So I follow the same steps. Go over here to normal. Click the blending mode to screen or lighten. I'm going to use screen in this case. Resize it to what you would like. Shift and click the right. Uh, and click the corner. And then to get rid of the parts that you do not want. For example, we want this to look like it's actually being, uh, like they're actually inside the middle of this. So the way we would do that is to come over here and select the layer of that sparkler. Come to the bottom of the screen and click this little button. It's like a rectangle with a circle inside. This is a clipping, or yeah, a layer mask, excuse me, a layer mask. Now, this will allow us to erase the parts of the image that we don't want. So, select the brush tool. You can press B on your keyboard or come over here to the left side. And we're going to select the flow to around 20% um, with about a 50% opacity. You can play around with this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can just make it look more natural if there's a lower flow. And then you can, we're gonna zoom in here. Make sure your layer mask is selected, not the actual layer, but the layer mask, which is the blank white one. And then just paint over what you wanna get rid of. In this case, we want it to look like it's behind his neck. So we're just going to erase over it a couple times because we set a low flow helps make it look a little bit more natural I'm not gonna make it look perfect uh, just a quick example show you what you can do with this let's go over it a couple times you can use a higher flow and it you won't have to paint over it but or you won't have to paint over it multiple times but it won't look as natural. 
I'm not sure where her hair ends. Um, you can also set the trans or the opacity to lower, so you can actually see where um, where you need to stop painting, and then you can just switch that back. So I'm gonna just switch it back to 100%. We can see. Obviously, that's not perfect, not very good, but you get the general idea of uh, how to do that. Just take a bit more time, a bit more effort. So. That's our sparkler overlays. I, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got to got a feeling for what these uh, overlays are capable of. So yeah, thanks for watching.